to be here. How many is glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Isn't the Lord wonderful tonight? Amen, brother. I'm so happy tonight to be, be able to be here tonight and to greet such wonderful people tonight. I tell you, I was telling my wife coming over, we come over the bridge, I said, you know, it's refreshing to just come across this bridge yes. and go to a place we've never been before. Amen. And I just feel so excited tonight about what God is going to do this week. Yes. Are you excited about what he's going yes, to do yes. this week? So glad the Lord laid it on our pastor's heart to do that. About 20 years ago uh, or longer, I don't, I don't really, I can't do the math, but I was in my 20s. I'll never forget when I went to a little town called Arcadia. I went there to help Brother Marlow with one weekend service that he could not attend, and somehow I wound up there 14 years. <laughs> and in the process of being there, though, there was a lot of people that supported us and, and helped us in that work, and tonight I was delighted to see these two ladies on the front row, Sister Lucille, yes. and help me with the other first name, uh, Lois, yes. who helped me as a 27-year-old uh, preacher in the city of Arcadia. Let's welcome, welcome tonight. They're here tonight. Amen. And I didn't know, I didn't know that the Lord would let them come tonight. And then uh, the young lady, I remember her as a as a, a little girl. But she's in the middle, and I believe she's your daughter. Is that correct? And we're glad to have her tonight as well. Hallelujah. So the Lord is good. Everybody say praise the Lord tonight. The Lord. So we're excited tonight. I, this, is not, this is not my format tonight, so I don't know what to do right here except say I'm glad to be here. May God bless all of you. Amen. 